Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the hair. Get a nice parting, get rid of all the hair we don't need. Now one thing to remember about it, extensions is that you don't want to put anything close to the front of the hairline because you will see it. So I'm gonna take about an inch behind it and drop that out, an inch, inch around the hairline. And then we're gonna create a panel two inches below the top parting. Clip that out of the way. So the first rule is you want to take these sections should be the same size and width as the diameter of the bond. If it's bigger than the bond, it's going to cause too much tension, too much weight on the hair, and it will eventually break the hair off. So you want to have very small sections, and the actual each individual section wants to be about the same width as the bond is wide, and that way it'll be the right size. So we're going to slide the hair through the loop. And you want to slide it up through, slide it on up to the top of the scalp, fold with your finger. You don't want to get what we call waterfalls, it's where the bond is hanging out, going straight out 90 degrees from the head. What you want to do is make sure it is flat with the head, and that way it doesn't, that way you don't feel them or see them, as opposed to Something like that. So this is nice and flat. Do another one, same size, same width, right next to it. And by creating a pretty heavy density of color in one spot, you're going to create obviously a bigger splash of color. If you spread them out, it's going to have more subtle color. So it's kind of up to you and your client what you want to create. But this is a really great way to get something into creative color or a full set of extensions, or people that normally wouldn't do brighter colors because either their job won't allow it or their lifestyle. But this will really express themselves at a minimum amount of money, a minimum amount of time, with no damage. Now, the thing to remember about Pliny's, the color itself, is that the thicker the section, the wider the spacing is, the less dense the colors can be. So if you want to have a really bright splash of color, you want to put them really close together. If you want to spread them out, stagger them, you will have more color spread out, so it creates less of a color splash. But for this one, we're going to put them right together and create a big splash of color. Nice and flat. And you be sure you want to keep the same size of the bonds, same size sections, and they want to be the same height from close to the proximity to the scalp. Press it on your fingertip and flatten. Now, when you flatten them, you basically want to flatten them. You hit them three times. One, two, and three. And we're done. There is your color splash. That is $40 right there. Okay, so we're going to comb it out. Cut off the excess, point cutting. You always want to point cut over all this stuff. Blend it into the actual haircut. And we're done. It's 40 bucks. Okay, so what's so great about radicals and about pure extensions is it's non-damaging, no glue. Um, as most of you know, it takes a good 45 minutes to an hour, or if not more, to take out most extensions, whereas these ones slide right off. So you can literally take off an entire set of extensions, if not just the radicals themselves, within you know, a matter of minutes.
No damage involved. Does it hurt? No. It's that quick. That simple. Simple to put on, simple to remove. Done. It's that quick. That simple.